Hi guys, so and I'm driving home. So very productive morning. Buli ganta na si Miko kasi Carl, si Ralph moves ang ilang gamit to their new place. You know, Nakakato naman ta sa Value Village to buy their stuff. Buli ganta man sila. And gin treat pa ko nila lunch. Oh, okay. Very productive morning. And, and it was good kasi you know, nakabayanihan na kita. No? And it's a good feeling na bulig ta sa ibang nga tao. And yeah, so they're gonna move in their new place soon. So, medyo shy lang sila magpakita sa aton sang the whole place which we respect that <laughs> but yeah when Monday no magagad sila ko ng mga barbecue to sa ila backyard kaya ito kalapad sa ila backyard and then may view sa other uh, other side of the city but anyways it was a good day until I experienced si Karen sa Value Village so we're gonna call her Karen kasi one of famous name na tawag sila so, so those kind of people <clears throat> So, yung istorya ko sa inyo, what happened? So, you understand more. So, when we went inside Value Village, we were greeted by the staff because you have to, they have to check you if you're, in, or if you're wearing a mask and you have to sanitize your hand before entering. And she saw me already taking a video from the outside going in and she didn't say anything to me. So, if the store itself knows that you're, they don't want you to take videos or pictures inside the store they will tell you right away like other establishments one time when I went to Nike I was taking videos they said no you cannot take videos because of some reason so we respect that so in the Valley Village naman, we were there right for a long time na I was taking video around the, the, the place and some people see me and I'm not taking videos of them. I'm taking videos of the stuff they're selling, their whatever or whatever is in there in the, the store. Right? So oh, we were okay. We were not doing anything. Not no complaints. But there's so many people there. So when later, nagita ko na si Miko and Ralph call. Oh, Miko, Miko and Ralph called me. They were already paying the cashier. So I took a video of them and the cashier. That was it. And I saw people lining up in the back, but I'm not taking a uh, video of them. I was just taking a picture of Miko, or taking a video of Miko and Ralph. Actually, then I turned around and panned the whole store. I was actually panning some, uh, the higher level, sa, sa, sa ceiling and the sign on, on the top of those uh, ceiling side. Then I was just to show the whole picture of the store. And then when, after panning, I turn it off and we're about to walk out. And suddenly, somebody called, Hey, hey. I said, I was calling me. So I turn around. She, she, she kind of like yelled at me like, Why are you taking videos? Something like that. So I was like, And there was a staff standing in front of us. Then she was also like confused on what's going on. And she just asked me, like, why are you taking videos? Like, why? What's wrong? I said, what's wrong with taking videos? Uh, are we not allowed to take videos? And she said, you're not allowed to take videos. Like, nobody told me you're not allowed to take videos. And I've been taking videos for a while now. I was here longer than you think. And she was telling me, or she was telling me, because it's private, private, or you're not allowed, all that. Nobody told me you're not allowed. And if the staff know that you're not allowed, they will tell you right away because that's of course part of their their rules or their policy. So we have to respect that. If they said you're not allowed to take videos in there or pictures in there, of course I won't take videos and pictures. I know that. But of course there's a Karen that belongs to whatever planet she came from, wherever planet she came from, has the guts to approach me and tell me I'm doing it wrong. The funny part is the staff itself, she didn't even acknowledge it. And she was saying to, to tell the staff, like, tell him that it's not allowed. Like, the staff's like, we did, if she knew if it was not allowed, the staff will already tell me right away, oh, you're not supposed to. And we respect that. We know that, right? We're not like, you're, you're 
law-abiding citizen. We have we 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 acknowledge that. But she was telling the staff that it was not allowed, but the staff didn't know. Right? So she is just making up reason for me or to me para to convince me that she's telling me the right things. That she just cannot mind her own stuff. You know? So those are the typical people na may encounter nyo dito sa Canada. Hopefully you won't get that much. There are people all over the place, not just here in Canada. Just to, to correct that. Not just here in Canada, and it's all over the place. And there's some, some people like that, that they just cannot mind their own business, you know? And it's funny, it's really funny because she claimed that she saw me taking videos all over the place. So if she saw me already taking videos all over the place, why she came and approached me on our way out already? That's my question. Why now? You should have approached me earlier if you saw me and then you, you, you know that it's not allowed. Then I could have asked the staff, really, if it's not allowed, then I'll stop. But I was turning my back around. We're gonna go exit because I saw Miko and Ralph already walking out from the cashier. And suddenly, she, she appeared somewhere. And it was so funny. For us, it was funny because you can tell these kind of people are just... I, can ex I cannot explain. <laughs> I cannot explain. It just turned out that it's funny and it's kind of like maybe stupid enough to, to approach a person like that if you're just trying to make up some ideas or anything. You know? So, there, were, there was no reason for her to tell me something like that otherwise she could have told the staff like hey I see somebody taking videos there. is it allowed or not if it's not allowed you better stop him then the staff will tell me okay you're not allowed sir you're not allowed then of course I'm not gonna do it but nobody did I was walking around staff see me taking videos people see me taking videos they don't even care but there's only one person named Karen <laughs> She really wastes time, her time, to approach me and tell me something that nobody even listened. And then maybe she 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 kind of like realized like, well, we're not gonna turn your my back. I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna argue with you. We're not just gonna walk away and ignore you. You're gonna hear something from us. The funny part because Ralph got heard heard it and Ralph start yapping at her. Right? You know, it was just funny guys so you know I'm not saying it's not discouraging you but this is life this is what it is there are really people like that and you just have to prepare and you know how to respond to those kind of people and it's a good experience because yeah, you know it, it's the, the only thing with this kind of people they just like to say something that's where all the strengths come from they just gonna blah 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 you until the end of time but they're not gonna do anything to you you know and they're just so lucky that they're, they're here in Canada right if you know what I mean if they're in the Philippines I don't know what's gonna happen anyways it was a good experience it was funny but the funny part also is that the staff you know because she approached us like what happened like, I don't know she's just saying that we're not allowed to vi take a video so she, we asked the staff like nobody said that right and the staff told us you know what she tell, told us ah, don't mind her don't let don't let her ruin your day imagine imagine that the staff told us don't let her ruin your day if she maybe if she heard that stuff <laughs> telling us she might have gone, gone to the store and like yeah at her too right but yes there are really places like that and some people like that so guys this is the world we live in you know and don't be scared of them I'm telling you they're not gonna do anything to you they're just gonna blah 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 you all right so anyways thank you so much for watching that's just my additional video of my our current experience which is funny and I want to share it to you to you guys and thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this little video we made today a little bit of this and that yeah
and yes until next time i'm almost home just driving home until next time guys salamat thank you ntv story at that.